Each M1 zone temperature sensor is factory calibrated to the onboard or remote temperature probe. However, it may be necessary in some cases to calibrate the zone temperature sensor in the field. This can be achieved using onboard calibration shorting pads to manually increase or decrease the temperature value. Before attempting calibration, it is important to allow the interface and probe to acclimate to room temperature. This video will demonstrate how to use the calibration shorting pads to adjust the temperature value of the M1 ZTS temperature sensor with onboard probe. This procedure is the same for the M1 ZTSR temperature sensor with remote probe. The calibration shorting pads are located on the right side of the interface board. These pads are labeled plus, T, and minus. To view the temperature sensor reading from an LCD keypad, press the ELK or menu key. Then press the right arrow key to enter the View Control Automation Functions menu. Press 4 to go to Temperature Sensor, then press the right arrow key. Enter the zone number to display the current reading of that sensor. To view the temperature sensor reading from a Navigator touchscreen keypad, press Menu, then press Automation. Next, press Temperature Sensor. Press the zone number to display the current reading of that sensor. These screens will not automatically update during calibration. To refresh the display, re-enter or press the zone number. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have created a text string and written a rule to display the temperature reading every 7 seconds. This can be done easily through ELKRP. To learn more, please check out our quick how-to video displaying temperature sensor value on a keypad. The reading of the temperature sensor is several degrees below the reading of the keypad's internal temperature sensor shown here as inside. I have determined that the inside temperature reading is accurate, so our goal is to make the M1 ZTS temperature value match the inside temperature. Both devices have been powered up and allowed to acclimate to room temperature prior to calibration. A flat screwdriver or needle-nosed pliers can be used to short between the two pads. To decrease the temperature reading, short between the T and the minus terminals. In this case, we need to increase the temperature value by shorting between the plus and the T. The short across the two connections should be brief using multiple pulses to move the temperature in the desired number of degrees. While not exact, each pulse will cause approximately one degree of change. After the initial adjustment, please be patient as it may take a moment for the change in the temperature value to fully take effect. It is recommended to wait about one to two minutes before making additional adjustments. If additional adjustments are needed, repeat the procedure. Be sure to give the sensor ample time to accept the calibration adjustments. The M1 ZTS temperature reading now matches the reading from the keypad's internal temperature sensor. Thanks for watching.